Right over here? Uh, we're going to need a cable ramp here. We're going to do two rows of drums, and then as they come out, if you could pop them open, like right here, and open that one up. Sure thing. The operative word is backup. We don't have one of anything. Drumsticks. I started the tour with 300 pair. Every nut and bolt hidden here, every little clamp, I've got like a hardware store. It's all about backup. If you had to stop the show for some, something going wrong or something breaking, that would be a drag. When people say the show must go on, they're talking to drum tech John Douglas. Every day on tour, he repeats a perfectly choreographed routine of load in, assembly, and strike. John calls sitting on stage at a rock concert just another day at the office, except his desk chair is a drum throne, and his boss is Alex Van Halen. I'm on the back line, so there's a there's only four of us. Each member of the band has their own guy. That you know, I do this for Al on the drums, and you know, Eddie's got his guy that sets up his rig and maintains all his guitars. And Wolfgang's got a guy. And Dave has about a half a dozen guys. <laughs> Van Halen, ZZ Top, Boston. John serves as drum tech for some of the biggest bands in rock. These are the groups he grew up listening to when he felt the beat pumping through his body at an early age. My parents would tell me, you know, was when I was in diapers, I was just, you know, hitting pots and pans and with knitting needles and anything, you know, just bothering them and that's all I wanted to do. John spends a few months touring every year. He never knows exactly where or when he'll be going, but he knows that when they call him, not only do the drums have to sound their best, but they have to look their best too. He turns ordinary instruments into works of art. Putting together a new kit for the tour is the fun part. That's the creative part. Because uh, for me, it's kind of like a sculpture. It's got to be functional. So this is the shop and uh, and Bob, this right here, all these boxes are drums. Like that stack right there is uh, for Frank Beard of ZZ Top. And next to it, those are um, some pearl drums for Joey Kramer of Aerosmith. And we got all these, uh, Van Halen. All, all of that, that is Van Halen? Uh, all the Ludwig and stacked on top is gonna, will be the next uh, Van Halen drum kit. There's an old artist adage that says, paint what you know. Well, John Douglas knows rock and roll. And that's what he's been painting and drawing since he was a kid. In fact, the first time he met Van Halen wasn't on tour. It was in high school, after he showed off some fan artwork. Now, all these years later, his portraits, album art, and dazzling drum kits have made John the go-to designer for world-famous bands. I've painted f for a lot more than, than I've toured with. Painted for, uh, you know, Red Hot Chili Peppers and Pantera and uh, Extreme and Kid Rock and uh, Brooks and Dunn actually did for their farewell tour. I did a big kit for them. I think I've done 20 just for ZZ Top. It seems like two of your loves in life are music and art. Am I right? Correct. And you found a way to actually live your life combining those two things? To juggle the two, yeah. What's the, uh, what, what are the chances of that? I mean, I know, look, I, yeah, you know, I've definitely been very blessed to been able to, to be able to do this. And um, I've done a lot of cool things, seen a lot of cool things. Uh, I joke halfway joking uh, that you know I had the double whammy because both of my passions and and career choices had the prefix of starving starving artist starving musician uh, what do you what do you have to fall back on when they when you're both are starving 
John's art has allowed him to meet his rock and roll heroes and eventually work for them. And if that wasn't enough, he's even gotten to live out every music fan's biggest fantasy. The first time was with ZZ Top in Europe. Well, I got a phone call at like two in the morning from one of the crew guys saying that uh, they just took Frank away in a stretcher and I was gonna play the show tomorrow night, which I thought was a practical joke and hung up. And he called back and says, no, really? And I'm like, dude, not funny. I'm going back to sleep. And then Billy Gibbons called me and convinced me that it was true. So yeah, I ended up playing three shows with ZZ Top while Frank had the surgery and was recuperating. It was wild. I used to say when I was a teenager, I would point to my veins there and see that? That's rock and roll flowing through there. <laughs> Which used to get a laugh or somebody would roll their eyes or anything. But now it's pretty much music and uh, it's art flowing through my veins. It's, it's in my DNA. We love to have y'all hop in and travel with us. So hit the subscribe button to see more.